So today we're going to solve this simple set of equations using Kramer's rule. So this is going to show you how you can use Kramer's rule to solve two by two systems of equations. So we have two unknowns and we have got two equations. And the first step for applying Kramer's rule is to get the essential matrices. So we're going to get a matrix A, we're going to get a matrix AX and a matrix AY and I'm going to show you how to do that. Then we can do some processing on those matrices and ultimately get the solution to these equations. So the first thing we need to do is get this into the form AX equals B. Firstly, A is going to be a matrix of the coefficients. So we've got a coefficient two here, we've got a one here, a one and then a minus one, and we can put that into our matrix A, just simply all the coefficients. Matrix X is just gonna be XY. So if we multiplied that out using matrix multiplication, it would look like the left-hand side of those two equations. We're gonna set that equal to the right-hand side, and that's going to give us this vector 5, 1. So we've got it in the form AX equals B. And then we need to do some processing. We need to obtain matrix AX and matrix AY. And I'm going to give you a bit of a cheat of how to think about these. This is just how I sort of visualize it. And then I'll show you how I get the matrices. So I think of AX in a 2 by 2 system as effectively you just copy what's in B into the first position, the first column, so that's like your X, if you thought about it as like X, Y, Z, and then A, you're just filling in the rest of it in the corresponding positions. And then for A, Y, you're going to start filling in with what you've got for A, and then your B is going to be in the second position. So the second column is just going to be copying everything that is in B. Now, let's have a look at what we've got. We've already got A, now we need to get AX. So AX, using the sort of cheat rule above, we can copy the 5, 1. So the 5, 1 goes in that position. And then we fill in the remaining parts of A. So we've got the second column of A, so the 1 and minus 1. We can then apply the same thing to get matrix AY. So matrix AY is going to be 5, 1. So that's copying the B into the sort of, I think about this as like the Y position. So if it was like X, Y, Z, labeling each of the columns, then that's where the 5, 1 will go. And then you copy the rest of A in. So we've got the matrices that are going to be essential in order to apply Kramer's rule. Then what we're going to do is we're going to find the determinant of each of these matrices. So we're going to find the determinant of A, find the determinant of AX, and then find the determinant of AY. And finding the determinant of a two by two system is very, very simple. What we're gonna do is simply multiply the two diagonal elements, so the two and the minus one, and then we're gonna subtract the off diagonals multiplied together. So if we do that for A, we obtain minus three. Then of course for AX, we five times minus one minus one times one, we do that and we obtain that value. And then for AY, we're gonna do two multiplied by one and then the five multiplied by one and subtracting, we get this. And so we've got the determinants of our three key matrices. This is the point that we can actually start getting a solution. So I'm gonna keep these three answers because they're gonna be important. So I've copied those three determinants here. Now, if we apply the rule, we can see that X is going to be equal to the determinant of AX divided by the determinant of A. We've already calculated those, so we just simply substitute and we get X equals to 2. Then we do the same thing for Y using the rule. So Y is going to be the determinant of AY divided by the determinant of A. Substitute those numbers in and then we get 1. And of course, good practice would be to take these numbers, this 2 and this 1, and substitute it back in here. So 2 times 2 plus 1, that is indeed 5. And 2 minus 1 is, of course, 1. So this is a valid set of solutions. So there is a simple worked example showing you how to apply Kramer's rule to solve a 2 by 2 system of equations. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.